Hey guys, welcome to Define Agile. My name is Anatoly. We're talking everything Agile and Agile tools like Jira in this channel. And today we're going to talk about what a subtask and cover how to create subtasks and why do you need subtasks. Before we do that, I have two things I want to tell you. Thing number one, if you want to learn Jira from basic to advanced in about one day, you can go into get my help section in the description for this video and you'll get my course and it teaches you how to get advanced in Jira in about eight hours. And the second one is if you are stuck, you don't know what to do, you need somebody to help you. Um, definitely very possible. If you go to get my help section, there is a Calendly link. You can schedule an appointment with me or somebody in my team to guide you through any challenges you have with Jira or Agile 101 personal and we'll be happy to help you. So since we got this out of the way, let's talk about subtasks. So Jira has subtasks as something to break your stories and break your tasks into smaller pieces. So let's say, let's create something and then I'll see how it's going to work. Let's say I have um, a login page is my big story. So I want to create a login page. And let's say I do have multiple people that needs to work on this story login page have some front-end developer needs to work on the UI, have back-end developer that needs to work on, um, let's say, the authentication part, and uh, I have some designer needs to create designs me for that. So a bunch of people need to work on this one thing. How can they work on this story without interlapping with each other? Where there are many ways you can do it, and I'm personally not a big fan of subtasks because you cannot estimate them and you can create a lot of them and it will be a lot of mess. So if I would do that, I'll be honest, I would probably create separate stories for front end, for back end and for designer. But if you want to use a subtask, you would create free subtasks. So you can go to your story and then you click create subtask and then you can create authentication. And then the next subtask will be uh, UI front end and the next will be design so now those ones you can go and you can assign them to separate people so let's say I'm in authentication right now and I can assign it to myself and then if I'm on the other one I can assign it to somebody else and then they can put all the information there and this way they can track only their own things and then when they are done with everything is done there and then we can close the story as well and mark it as done so this is a pretty easy way to just split your story into smaller pieces so that you're able to uh, work on them separately for different people hope it makes sense uh, this is my two cents i'm not a big fan of subtasks for many reasons i usually find people who use a lot of subtasks create a lot of mess and it's very very hard to uh, find something so if personally it was me I would create stories for every single piece that you need and then maybe have an epic uh, to combine them all into one separate thing so for me login page will be an epic and then I would have a smaller stories but subtasks are totally cool a lot of people use it and people and I don't want to impose my thinking if you're into subtasks please do continue your subtasks hopefully it helps uh, if you like this video, if you think it brought you value, please click on like and subscribe because we are releasing those videos almost every day. And uh, if we, if you subscribe to it, if you like it, it spreads to more and more people. So more people have access to this free information that I think is pretty valuable. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.